Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune for Sunday, the 26th day of July, 2020. Well, um, it, it's a, it's been a wonderful weekend. It's going to be 95 here today. <laughs> so I'm going to get what I need done early and then get in the house and sit in the air conditioning because 95 is too hot for this witch. It's just way too hot. So anyway, I, I'm actually like a 65 degree girl. I'm happiest right there. I, I, I seriously could live in a climate that was just 65 and I'd be happy. <laughs> especially at this point in my life. Anyway, uh, we have an eight energy for the day, uh, seven for the month and 22 for the year. Uh, understand the greater picture and choose harmony and protection over self-interest. Take a practical approach, especially if called to a leadership role. And that's going to be relevant when we get down to the human design section. Is Also, well, it's kind of threaded throughout where leadership is going to be important today. Uh, so just... just uh, Hang in there here, and we'll 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 continue on with this, and you'll see. Uh, we have Perthro as the rune today, the 14th rune of the Elder Futhark. Uh, its meaning is uh, it's a water element rune. It, it's kind of one of those directional runes where this is birth, this is death, uh, this is a cauldron. <laughs> so it's great to use as a vine rune, particularly if you want to have a cauldron effect to it. You could start with that at the bottom and then work your way up with from there, uh, uh, putting the runes together from there, but using Perthro as a base. Uh, but it's, you're talking about the well of word, uh, childbirth, healing, understanding fate, cause and effect, synchronicity, divination. It's about the womb and chance. It, it's thought to be or considered to be the, the cup from which dice are tossed, and that's where you get the idea about chance and, and fate and all of that. Or it's also thought to be the cup that the runes were tossed. To, wrote to Odin when he's hanging upside down from the world tree. The Norns are saying, oh my God, quit whining here. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> I can just imagine what it was like. <laughs> but anyway, uh, today, so today we're going to watch for synchronicities as we all continue to take control of both our individual and collective fate. Choose wisely any outside contact with others today, but avoid conflict if the situation is questionable. Don't compromise your safety because of the short-sighted behavior of others right now. Uh, seriously, you know, just just walk away. Uh, you don't want to get into it, apparently. I saw a, uh, I don't know where this was, but it was in a Walmart. <laughs> and you saw the picture of it happening, and then you saw his mugshot. <laughs> so, yeah. A couple with masks on told him to put a mask on. And uh, like, what are you doing without a mask? He pulled a gun on him. Like I say, my husband's like, yes, say no, we'll just say nothing. We'll just hunker down and get out of there <laughs> as quickly as possible. You know, we're black belts. <laughs> so if black belts are saying get out of there, then, then get out of there. Don't engage with these people. Uh, some of these people are nuts. I'm serious. They're, they've got mental problems or something. You don't pull a gun on somebody for, for, for wanting you to wear a mask. That's just stupid. Now he's going to go to jail. So, you know, what will it have been worth, right, in the long run? All anyone wants to do is be safe right now. That's all we want. So, unfortunately, it's not just about wearing masks. It's the conversation that happens when you're suggesting to someone they ought to be wearing one. It doesn't always go well as we all see now, because everyone's getting it on video. Even when you don't say anything, even when you just stand there in a mask, you know, it's like you're waiting for somebody to come up to you and yell at you for it. It's like, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> anyway, the moon's in Libra until 9, 11 p.m. my time tonight. Uh, it moves into Scorpio at that time. So indecision may lead to misunderstanding with a partner today. Avoid self-indulgence, that's the moon square Jupiter, or becoming a martyr if an interna interaction doesn't go, go your way, and that would be the moon quincunx Neptune. As the moon travels into emotional Scorpio, tact may be less and drama may result. That's the issue with Scorpio. Um, you know, they're very emotional, they're very intense, they're great people, but if they get stuck on something, it's hard for them to let it go. <laughs> so, it's like... They burrow in on it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, and with Libra, you know, Libra is all about partnership and harmony and all of that. But it can also be indecisive. I know because I'm a Libra. <laughs> it's like, oh, God, which kid do I punish? They both seem to be telling me the truth. Who's lying? Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah. So they both went to their rooms. It's like, both of you, think about it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but that's true, you know, and when you're transitioning from one sign to the other, you're going to start to feel stuff from the new sign coming in, right, and mixing with whatever, you know, influences you have from, from the particular, you know, moon placement is transitioning well, it's going to mix. That's how I see it anyway. And so you get Scorpio coming in and having a little bit of influence on Libra, and it's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Watch the t watch for tactfulness, please. <laughs> Otherwise, again, if you're in the grocery store, someone's not wearing a mask, just leave. <laughs> Don't say anything to them. Uh, but anyway, down to we're we're at a, we're at a new week here for the weekly influence. We're, yeah, for the weekly influences. I, I sent those out in the uh, newsletter. In fact, I did it last night. I, I sent them out last night instead of this morning. So if you are on my email list, you've already got it, but uh, you don't have this part now about, well, some of it, the first part you have about the human design stuff, but you don't have the, 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 the stuff for the day. So I hope you're here, or if you're not, you're going to be, be reading it on the blog when I write it up. But uh, anyway, <laughs> overall this week, um, I like to look at the channels that are open uh, and active, and we've got three the channel of awareness continues to to be here every day, uh, and that's letting higher self inform everything. Yeah, I think it's it it really pertains to the 22 year that we're in, and it's such you know soul level change that's that's happening. Uh, we're really having, and and also we've got seven planets in in retrograde right now, and I just interpret that as looking inward. So whatever, you know, Jupiter's in retrograde, for example, so it's an expansive planet. Everything's made bigger with Jupiter's influence. Well, here you're trying to influence and it, your perceptions, basically, and to examine them and to figure out what's really useful and what isn't, what's going to carry you forward and what's really keeping you held back. And so that's what I think a lot of that whole energetic momentum and that whole uh, exchange that goes on with the retrograde planets, I think, is just happening internally right now. And we're having to really examine, again, how we see ourselves in the world, how we see ourselves vis-a-vis -vis one another. Are we seeing each other as the other side of self, or are we seeing each other as the other? And we need to shift that perception into seeing each other as the other side of self. And then I think a lot of these issues that we have together that seem to keep us at loggerheads will just disappear, right? Because it's like, oh, I don't see it that way anymore, right? And so I really think it's, it's, it's that simple. And I know it seems complex, but I, I really think that it's it's that simple. I think we may make it far harder because the ego wants to pull us into that whole, you know, us versus them experience. It doesn't want to let go. And so we convince ourselves, well, the ego is convincing us, oh, no, it's too hard to change. No, you shift your perception, you shift your focus, you shift your attention somewhere else. And there you are. That's your reality now. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think that really, it just takes a, a, an awareness that it really is just that. We create and manifest the perception of our reality. Surely, our soul has the capability, if it can focus into these bodies, and to have this experience, I'm pretty sure it can shift our perception somewhere else, if we just know that's what we are. A little hard to let the ego tap you on the shoulder after that. I mean, it happens, but you can get it under control, right? Anyway, overall, we have, uh, we have that. We also have openness, the channel of openness, which is the design of a social being. That's going to open, I think, on Thursday, maybe, or Maybe it, is it Thursday? I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, later on in the week, also exploration uh, is also uh, going to be taking. And let me see what I had on that. I'll just tell you in advance. Did I write that down? I maybe I didn't. At least not on my notes here. But we'll talk more about that because exploration comes in later. Um, but right now, one of the things that's happening uh, that's staying consistent is the placement of the north and south nodes of the moon. And I wanted to just go over that quickly. Uh, a sense of duty, that's the North Node's placement, continues to be experienced, bal balanced with feelings of modesty. And that's the South Node, stemming from knowings, knowing one's place, likely born from societal conditioning more than any truth. That's the other thing. 
society gets us in a position where we think we're this when really we're not. A type of groupthink takes over, and right now the groupthink is based on patriarchy, so you can see an authoritarianism as well now. So you can see it doesn't serve anybody well at all, except the people in power, or men <laughs> who want to control everything. It serves them just fine. But, uh, but basically, uh, we want to allow the channels of awareness, which is higher self, the channel of awareness, which is higher self-perspective, to shift self-perception to more easily follow your convictions. As you engage with others in openness and solidarity during the coming week, um, I, I think that that's really the flow of energy toward a shared path, towards shared purpose with one another that we're really on here. But today, we're going to see opportunity instead of focusing on limitation. Others may see you as a troubleshooter, especially if your past experiences inform the path forward. So if you have protest, you have protest experience, you might want to share that with others. <laughs> How did you stay safe and all of that? Choose wisely what or who, choose wisely what or who uh, influences you today, balancing independent action with collaboration with others. In either case, whether you're going it alone or you're, or you're collaborating with others, exercise restraint so that the group dynamic isn't, isn't affected. Um, in other words, it's the kind of energy that, that, you know, you may have something to add, but maybe the group isn't ready to hear it, but maybe they are. And so just exercise some restraints so that, you know, they still feel the sense of collaboration, that it doesn't turn into your thing instead of the group thing, it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So whether that's, you know, dealing with you, you're out protesting and standing up for everyone's rights, or uh, if it's just something that's happening in your personal life to, right now, the issues of collaboration versus independence, I think, really come into play today. And if you're going to be collaborating with others and you're going to be offering your own ideas safely, of course, <laughs> you protect it, wearing a mask, unless you're online doing it, over the phone, whatever, or, you know, 50 feet apart from one another, yelling, <laughs> saying, do this, do that. Just make sure that 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 the collaborative effect stays uh, present in the whole experience, even if you're sort of asserting yourself and and people are following along. So, just make sure you that they all know that 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 you're doing this to it's a together thing instead of an individual thing. So, and you should do okay. So, anyhow. I guess that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go. I've gotta I gotta take eggs today. We didn't do it yesterday. We're gonna do it today. I gotta to go take eggs to someone. The, the 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 friend that buys them, she she buys them on behalf of everybody else and then she distributes them on Monday at work. <laughs> so it's uh it, it's they give her the money and and yeah. So anyway, my uh uh the new ones are coming online quite nicely. Some of the eggs are so small, so we're not giving those. We're not we're not selling those, but not we we just keep those for ourselves and have those for breakfast and stuff. But uh, uh, the rest of them, though, you know, it won't take long, and and they'll increase in size, and they'll be, you know, the extra large eggs that these hens seem to produce. So anyway, they're really good when you get them fresh from the chickens. So anyway, I'm happy to be able to share that with others. So that's what we have to do today, and then we're going to come back home, get some water down, and then we're coming in the house. <laughs> so probably binge watch something on TV. Right now we're binge watching Boston Legal so on Hulu. So anyway, uh, I guess that's it. You guys have a good day. We'll talk again tomorrow. This is going to go up on the blog on the side panel, and, I'm, and I'll do a write-up. I I kind of changed the format of it, and I've, I've included some other stuff on it. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if I still want to do it that way, but... But it's always a work in progress, right? Yeah. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. Have a good day. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another. Please wear a mask if you go out. And blessed be.